is the narcissist posting to provoke me? When we talk about the narcissist posting, I'm referring to on social media. So if the narcissist is posting comments, is posting pictures, is posting memes, supposed inspirational quotes, etc., the victim understandably asks, is this being done to provoke me? Well, there are a variety of answers to this important question. The first one, however, is you're actually asking yourself the wrong question. If you know that you're dealing with a narcissist, why on earth are you looking at the social media of that narcissist and poring over the significance of the pictures that are posted there? You should not be doing so. It is a breach of no contact. Oh, I know you want to get answers. I know you can't help but want to know what the narcissist is up to, whether you are the secondary source that's having an affair with the narcissist and suspecting that things are not quite as he's explained to you, or that you are a secondary source to the narcissist and you think that there are other people involved, even though he swears there are not, or that you've been disengaged from. Now the former intimate partner primary source, and you're wondering what's so special about your replacement. These are, of course, common responses, common questions. But you ought to be obeying the first golden rule of freedom, which is once you know you go, you get out and you stay out. When you realise, when it's confirmed to you that you're dealing with a narcissist, all bets are off. You delete the narcissist, as I've explained to you in other videos. And you, snooping on Facebook, lurking around Twitter, scurrying about on Instagram, whether under your own profile or perhaps creating a fake one or getting somebody else to look for you and sending you screenshots, is a breach of no contact. You might think to yourself, I need to know. I need to know what's really going on. Wrong. You already know. You already know that you're dealing with a narcissist. You don't need anything more. You don't need to find evidence of infidelity. In establishing that the individual is a narcissist, you've either no infidelity has occurred before, or because they are a narcissist, it's highly likely it's happening. But of course, your high emotional thinking corrupts your truth seeker trait, causing you to believe that you need these answers. The fact is, don't go and look, and then there won't be any questions that you have to ask. Don't go and look to see what the narcissist is putting on his social media feed, and therefore you won't get wound up, angry, upset, or hurt. You're volunteering for the punishment, for the pain. Resist doing so. As I've explained before, if you want to know what the narcissist will be doing, you ask me, you listen to my videos, you consult with me, and I'll give you the answers. What you don't do is breach your no-contact regime by trying to find out yourself in relation to an already confirmed narcissist. This is a redundant act. So, with pointing that important aspect out, what is happening if the narcissist is posting on his social media? Is it being done to provoke you? Well, of course, it all depends on what's being posted and where you are in the fuel matrix and at what stage in the dynamic you are. If you are in the golden period, it's likely that the narcissist will be posting pictures of you and the narcissist, garnering the likes from friends, garnering the appreciative comments, posting them so you can see them. When that's being done, the narcissist is controlling you in a benign way by parading you so that you appreciate that being done, that you feel special, and the narcissist is doing it to control other appliances in the fuel matrix to cause them to respond. Wow, punching you above your weight there, mate. Great catch. She's gorgeous. Oh, the two of you look so happy. The comments from friends and family are all being achieved as part of the assertion of control and, of course, gathering some fuel into the bargain. What about when you're in devaluation? And the narcissist is posting on the feed then. You might find 
that the pictures that are being posted are of the narcissist with other people. Who's that woman he's with that he's got his arm around her waist? Who are these people? Why is this being posted? If you remain in the relationship with the narcissist and those type of pictures are being posted, again, the effect of it is twofold. First of all, it is being done to assert control over these secondary or tertiary sources so that they see the picture, they comment upon it, they like it, signalling that they are under control and providing a bit of fuel to the narcissist. However, and more importantly, if you remain in the relationship with the narcissist and the narcissist is posting pictures of that type, then you're being triangulated and it's a devaluing behaviour. It's being done to provoke you, to assert control over you and draw fuel over you by a malign act within the devaluation stage. It might be that you're a secondary source and you're being triangulated as part of a corrective devaluation. The act is done to assert control and to gain fuel from you. And this is because you remain live in the interaction with the narcissist. You remain the intimate partner primary source or you are an intimate partner secondary source. The narcissist is continuing to interact with you. What about the situation where you have been disengaged from? Well, this is what usually happens to the intimate partner primary source and thus you become the former intimate partner primary source. What's happening if the narcissist has left you for somebody else and they are now putting up pictures of them kayaking down a river with the new woman or sitting on a waltzer screaming because they want to go faster again with the new girlfriend or she's there posting pictures of a night out locked in an embrace with the new beau. What's happening here? You as the former intimate partner primary source, driven by emotional thinking, perhaps not yet realising you're dealing with a narcissist, sees these pictures. And you become hurt. They've moved on so quickly. Also, it feels provocative, doesn't it? He's rubbing my nose in it. He left me either for this person or he ended the relationship and he's moved on to someone very quickly. The reality is she will have been waiting in the wings. You just didn't realise that. And now look at him. Treated me like shit, and he's running around, happy as Larry, whoever Larry may be, posting all of these pictures showing that he's having a splendid time, living it up in Dubai, running around, taking in the sights of the Cotswolds, wherever it might be. Nights out, going to the restaurant, doing some abseiling together, having that picture taken in the crystal clear ocean in the Maldives, so on and so forth. And there you sit, watching Bridget Dones, a bottle of Pinot Grigio for company, and a large bar of chocolate, teeth grinding at the injustice of it all. Not only have you been badly treated by your disengagement, now the narcissist is coming along and really rubbing your face in it. Except they invariably aren't. You see, when you've been disengaged from at that point, you are persona non grata, and the narcissist isn't thinking about you. When he or she is posting all of these pictures in their social media feed, you are furthest from their mind. What's actually happening is, all of these pictures are not for your benefit, they are for the benefit primarily of the newly ensnared intimate partner primary source, or if they're still in the candidate situation, the candidate intimate partner secondary source. These pictures are being posted to bring that person under control and to keep them under control and to cause them to provide fuel by showing how special they are to them. It's also being done to assert control over secondary and tertiary sources. So, similar to as I explained earlier on, people comment, wow, who's this? You look so happy together. Fantastic. So pleased that you've moved on after that terrible relationship, which of course is referring to you, the friend, of course, reacting to the smears that have occurred, not realising that you were the victim. The narcissist posts these pictures 
Post the comments about how happy they are, perhaps talking about how wonderful this new person is, posting those sickening inspirational memes about if you wait long enough, the right person will come along, that after going through hell, finally someone has arrived who's heaven sent. I feel quite nauseous at the thought. All of those things are being done to control the new intimate partner primary source or the candidate intimate partner secondary source and collaterally other secondary and tertiary sources that are in the fuel matrix. It isn't directed at you. You, of course, will feel that it is because you will think the bastard. Not only has he dumped on me from a height, but he's now posting all of these things to provoke me. No, the narcissist isn't interested in you. You were disengaged from. Of course, it does have the impact of provoking you, and it might even cause you to enter a sphere of influence by sending a message, texting, or even going and confronting the narcissist, perhaps even referencing these pictures, such as, oh, I see you've taken her to Dubai, just as you did with me. Can't have been that special, could it? And of course, all you'll be met with is being ignored, or possibly a malign hoover, because you threaten the narcissist's control. Many people believe that these relationship bulletins are all about riling the former intimate partner primary source. They're not. They are about controlling your replacement. They are about controlling other people in the fuel matrix. You are forgotten about. The only instance where that differs is if you happen to be mentioned. You, of course, Think that because he's posting pictures of him with this person at the restaurant in Dubai that he took you to, that this is a deliberate snub, a deliberate provocation towards you. It isn't. It is the narcissist showing a customary lack of, of originality because so many of our kind operate in a very similar way. And what was good for you is good for her. He's not thinking to himself, oh, I took Julie to this restaurant last time, now I'll take Amanda. He's not even thinking about you, Julie. He's just purely concentrating on Amanda. You, driven by the hurt, the height of your emotional thinking, which gets hold of your narcissistic trade of pride and think, how dare he take her to the same restaurant that he took me to, where he proposed to me, perhaps, or where he said he had such a special time with me. He's doing this deliberately to rub my face in it. No, he's not. He's doing it to control her. You are forgotten about. The only instance where it is done is where you happen to be mentioned in some way. Then it's being done. So, for instance, if the narcissist references, the last time I was here I had a terrible time, fantastic to make new memories, that is directed at both you and her. You are being mentioned by inference by the reference to having had a terrible time. But if simply the pictures are being put up, if the narcissist is talking about how wonderful everything is, what a great time he or she is having, that's all directed towards the current person and isn't directed as against you. The simple fact remains, of course, don't be lucking. Then you won't breach your no contact, you won't feed your emotional thinking, you won't get her angry, pissed off by what you see. You have to exercise that discipline to avoid going and snooping because you actually don't need to know. Your emotional thinking cons you into thinking that you need to know, but you do not. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.